that the testimony you are about to present... Sonny Perdue finally had his day in the committee room. Committee members wanted to hear from the former governor how he plans to show rural constituents he will fight back against the proposed cut in funding. Governor, as secretary, how will you ensure that ag's voice is heard loud and clear within this administration to fight for our farmers and ranchers to ensure we have access to new markets abroad and not face retaliation. Food is a noble, noble thing to trade. We've got a great story to tell. We've got producers here that can produce more than we need to consume. That's not the case in many parts of the world. So why don't we use that bounty to supply a, one of the fundamental needs of mankind around the world. Can you commit to ensuring that we'll have a strong RFS to provide economic security for these rural communities? I can do that, and I'm happy to have the, also the president's commitment of his, his concern and interest in that area as well. So, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about crop insurance. Sure. Um, it's critically important to, um, to my state. It's something that we're going to be working on in the Farm Bill. I thought you all in the 14 Farm Bill made a lot of progress in the crop insurance area. Uh, obviously, it can always be refined and made better, but it is, it's vital uh, and, uh, to, to farmers, good producers there that uh, need that safety net of both the risk of production and pricing that you all uh, did so well in that area. And I hope we can even continue that and enhance that to me, I think the American taxpayer gets a good value for that, and hopefully we can work together. I look forward to working with you all uh, as we continue. If, if I'm confirmed to, uh, to make sure that the crop insurance program is sound, solid, and, and a, good, uh, a good economic value. I ask you to support finding a way to include dairy farms, which require year-round labor. I mean, you can't have somebody come in for six months and then say, okay, to the cows, uh, I'll be back in six months and to milk you again. So we have sheep and goat herders have that exemption. Will you work with us to find a way to have dairy farms, dairy uh, farm workers in the same program, the same way goat and sheep herders are? There's a need. Obviously, many of our dairy workers are uh, immigrant workers, and uh, while there are exemptions in other places, certainly I believe dairy qualifies for that as well. No date has been set for a vote on Purdue's nomination. For Market to Market, I'm Peter Tubbs. recognizes the distinguished uh, senator from Michigan, Senator Sam. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and welcome again.